it's great to see you. Um, what was it? The last time we actually saw each other was off of Zoom, and I guess the roles were switched around. I was the one who was in the interview spot, and you were interviewing me. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I honestly don't remember the last time I saw you in person, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and, and I have to apologize because... It would have happened on the uh, your uh, album release, yeah. and I couldn't make it down to do the introduction, so I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's no worries. It's no worries. It's a busy time, and it's it, a good. <laughs> it is a crazy busy time. Folks are probably wondering what is he talking about. He was in the other way. You actually are a host yourself, correct? I am, yeah. Um, I mean, we've we've stopped the live stream at this point because there's so much more going on in person, which is great. I'm not mm -hmm. going to complain about that. Um, but yeah, we were doing the bi-weekly bi live stream on Facebook and YouTube, um, and I was bringing on different guests uh, in the music industry and otherwise, and I met so many people and I got to catch up with so many people like yourself, um, and it was really lovely. And you know, just kind of keep kept the momentum going in that weird COVID period of time. <laughs> yeah, because you were also performing on that too, right? Yeah, yeah. I would I would have a guest on, they would perform, or we would have a chat, and then I would do some songs and bring another guest on and etc. <laughs> so with all of this going on, school, this and everything else, when did you make time to start recording music? Uh honestly, COVID made time for me. Uh there was a lot of uh free time to write songs. I know, especially at the beginning of the pandemic in May of 2020 is when I kind of wrote the most. Um, and I did a songwriting challenge for myself where I wrote three to four songs a week for the whole month of May. Um, and then from that, um, Nick Tataishi, my guitar player, uh, who is also the producer on this brand new record, um, he produced all of it and figured out all the accommodations for instrumentalists. And they all recorded remotely. Um, so it truly was a COVID project through and through. So uh, I think keys were in Toronto, uh, bass was in Montreal, drums were in LA, and <laughs> he was wherever he happened to be. To Nick was wherever you know he ended up. And then my vocals were recorded at his cottage up way up north um, in a closet. So yes. <laughs> Do you know how many people I have spoken to in the last two years who have literally said that their sound booth is their closet? They turned it into their closet. It works. You know what? If it's it's cheaper too i gotta say <laughs> going into the studio well because you did have time though to do it mm -hmm. did were the songs how do i put this and and I've, I've asked everybody the same thing too but did you find that your songs to be different or relating to what was going on for its time because our mindset was one way before covid and then everything that we've seen and experienced our mindset switched was that the way it was for your music? Um, I don't know. I feel like that songwriting challenge that I did definitely mm -hmm. changed my overall sound. Um, and because it was just me writing these songs and just me doing the music and lyrics, it seemed like it was more my own project and I put more of myself into it. But then when the recording stage happened, of course, a lot of arrangement ideas from different people were bounced around. But I don't know that the pandemic necessarily changed the sound of the songs or the way that I wanted them to sound. Um, and if it did, I'm really pleased with the way they've turned out. I'm, I'm so thrilled. And um, yeah, the, this album is one that I'm definitely most proud of for sure. Now, of course, when I first met you, um, it was uh, jazz. Yeah. But we're not looking so much as that anymore, are we? Oh, things have changed. Um, jazz was definitely a really, really lovely place to start. And it helped me meet a lot of great people, especially the Toronto jazz community. Is so embracing, especially for young talent. Um, and so that really helped me kind of, you know, figure out my trajectory. And, and then as soon as I started writing songs, I kind of found my sound and it's definitely still has those jazz undertones in the way that I write. But I think uh, a lot of it is more influenced by old school R&B soul, like the 60s and 70s and, um, and some of current sounds today, of course, too, just to make it appeal to different audiences. Then let's get to what this is all about. What is the name of the new album and how is it reflecting you today in your career? Uh, so it's self-titled. So it's Avery Raquel. It's my name. And I think it's because it is entirely me. And um, I think the songs have uh, definitely evolved from when I wrote them because I write everything on piano. 
Um, and so obviously having a full band at my disposal is not something that everyone <laughs> necessarily has. Um, but, you know, I, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, the album actually debuted uh, at number five on the Canadian iTunes R&B Top 200 chart, which was great to wake up to that morning. Um, and yeah, it's, I'm very much proud of it. The release concert was a success and uh, I had the best support I could possibly get. And even though the sound has changed a little bit, the fans who were fans of my jazz stuff have followed right through and they, they love it too, which is, I think, really important. What kind of stories are you telling through this album? Um, a lot of stories about love, of course. I, I am turning 21 this year, this summer, and uh, a lot of relationship nonsense, obviously. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm Taylor Swift or anything, but, <laughs> but definitely, um, there's, you know, a lot of stuff about love and, but different ways of approaching that. One of the songs on there is about my mom, for example, and and the song about how she taught me how to love, and another one is about finding love, losing love, um, and uh, some of them are just about learning how to love myself. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the overall theme for the album. Is there a single out right now? Uh, the whole album's out. <laughs> no, but I mean particular single. Is there like a oh. lead single or? Um, we we've been pushing my song called "You Said," um, which is kind of about um this weird COVID relationship that um blossomed during these past couple of years, um, and the idea of meeting someone online and that taking off, and I'm still with that person. Um, but yeah, so that's the song that we've been pushing for sure. But I encourage everyone to listen to all of them, of course. <laughs> What's going to happen now th since things are opening up? Are we going to see shows from you now? Yeah, so I actually just got back a couple of weeks ago from a northern tour, way up north. And when I say way up north, I mean like a 24 hour drive up north. We were in uh, Fort Francis um, and then oh, wow. we went to Thunder Bay and then we went to Geraldton. Uh, and then tomorrow uh, I'm going to be in Ajax on April 30th. Um, and yeah, it uh, that was a crazy tour. Everyone's so kind up there. And I think it's because, you know, not much is going on. <laughs> not much is going on up there right now especially with COVID so it was really nice to play live music for such lovely people we almost hit a moose on our way up there that was pretty crazy wow. I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> um yeah and uh I'm trying to book some more stuff for the summer a couple of festivals I know I'm doing the Waterloo Jazz Fest which should be a lot of fun wow. and a couple other things uh possibly going on too so yeah just all of my information's on my website of course for all my upcoming dates Sounds like you're going to have a busy summer and a busy 2022. Yes. Congratulations on all of this. Again, I am so sorry that I did not get a chance to introduce you a second time, it's but cool. I will do everything in my power when the next album comes out yeah. that I will be the one who gets to do that. Um, <laughs> but again, so happy for you for this uh, new version in your life uh, with music and looking forward to everything you're doing in 2022. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It was lovely to talk with you again. <laughs>